people always discuss various dietary approaches. There are three basic dietary approaches. There's elemental diets, which, which is taking these hypoallergenic formulas, which basically is everything down to amino acids. There is the empiric elimination, which is based on the allergy testing, and then there's sort of um, one just based on guessing, on empiric testing. So there's allergy testing, basing, elemental, and empiric. So how do they work? So if you do the elemental diets, taking everything out on, immune, on elemental formulas, within a month, 90 plus percent, high 90s, get better. So that's sort of, you take everything out, everything gets better. Quality of life of that diet's really difficult, hard to do, but definitely gets everyone better. So now the two diets that people typically use, one's the empiric, one is the allergy testing drive diet. Um, we recently went back and looked at a cohort of patients to see which one worked the best. So we found these patients who we knew what food it was. We knew that patient X was allergic to milk, egg, and wheat. Patient Y was allergic to soy, chicken, and beef. So we went back and said, okay, how good, if we go back to the beginning, how good was our allergy testing? Good our allergy testing, say this food caused it, or would it better just to guess? So the interesting thing was, it was equal. You can do one way just as well as another. So if you did what, what the, the Kalawagas group in Northwesterns did, the six food elimination diet, doing removing milk, egg, wheat, soy, tree nuts and peanuts and seafood, that works about 50% of the time. If you did the allergy testing diet based on removing anything that was positive on, on allergy testing, um, that worked 50% of the time, almost exactly, both were exactly 53%. But if you want to bump it higher, you can take the allergy testing and take milk out, because milk was, is commonly missed on allergy testing. So you did allergy testing and take milk out no matter what. That worked about 75% of the time. But interestingly, if you did the six food limit, did the most common foods based on what we've seen in our population, which is milk, egg, wheat, soy, and meats, and meats we mean chicken, beef, turkey, and pork, those four meats, you take away those eight foods, it's the same 75%. So both are easy ways to do. Allergy testing maybe gets a little slightly less foods, one or two less foods than doing this empiric, sort of the guess or the empiric elimination. Both are reasonable ways to go. It depends on what's available in your community in terms of what's the test and what's your preference. The allergy testing takes a little more time to get there. Empiric, you get a little more food, but both are reasonable approaches and I think are, are fine ways to approach someone if you want to treat with, with food elimination or a patient with eosinophilic esophagitis.